Mortal Kombat, one of the largest fighting game names in fighting game history, lost fighting game of the year in 2023 to another very large fighting game name, the sequel to Street Fighter, Street Fighter 6. So we're gonna talk about it. Take it one step at a time. First of all, if you enjoy fighting game content, make sure to subscribe here for more. And let's go ahead and get into this fighting game tea. So yeah, two of the largest fighting game names. Of course, the big three, Tekken, Street Fighter, and Mortal Kombat. Well, Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter both had a sequel to their names this year. Tekken 8 is coming in January, so that'll be next year. So I'm calling it right now. Tekken's gonna be fighting game of the year 2024. But for 2023, we of course had Street Fighter 6 and Mortal Kombat 1. Now off the bat, if you're a fighting game fan at all, which I'm sure you are if you're watching this video, you might might, before the game awards you might be thinking man that's a really good toss-up you know like mortal kombat street fighter it's got to be a close vote you know neck and neck but in the modern age of gaming that we are in right now there are quite a few expectations that that games have nowadays especially when they released and especially in the fighting game community of course these standards kind of differ in all kinds of gaming genres you know racing rpgs action shooters fighters and in the fighting game community there's a lot of expectations when it comes releasing a triple a title like street fighter like mortal kombat you might have lower expectations with other games like nickelodeon all-star brawl pocket bravery which were all other contenders and nominees for fighting game of the year but let's be honest these triple a title street fighter mortal kombat tekken when any of those are in the running for a fighting game of the year it's almost gonna be a wash man it's, it's gonna be like a clear night and day winner but again with two of the biggest names in the same running you might be going whoa who's gonna win this one and let me also state that i love mortal kombat i love mortal kombat my entire life i love mortal kombat more than i do street fighter but i am mature enough to know and recognize which game is a better fighting game and i'll tell you right now and again i love mortal kombat so much but i recognize the street fighter 6 is the better fighting game Game. It did deserve fighting game of the year. I won't argue that but there are a couple things to talk about as to why a lot of people want to talk about Oh, well Mortal Kombat is just stingy and greedy now All they want is money for their skins and that's true Like I really do think they're going in the wrong direction They are charging for fatalities they are charging for skin and not just charging but charging a ridiculous amount But if you're gonna use the argument you might as well use it for Street Fighter 6 because they're guilty of that as well They're charging for skins and they're charging not a good amount either So both of these games both of these companies are guilty of dumb practices like that so I don't really take that into consideration when it comes to like, you know, best fighting game of the year, because that's gonna be more objective, right? That's gonna be more like, hey, what did this game as a fighting game bring to the table to the fighting game community? And I'll tell you right now, Street Fighter 6, it brought crossplay, which is huge. I mean, like, the Street Fighter 6 beta had crossplay. Multiverses last year had crossplay. The Tekken 8 beta that was recent had crossplay. Mortal Kombat 11 had crossplay. Mortal Kombat 1 doesn't got crossplay yet. I know it's coming, but as of this recording, not yet. Street Fighter 6 has online private lobbies. They have battle hubs. They have a great rollback net code. They have character specific rank. They just handled their launch very well. And let's be honest. Yes, there are a couple characters that are, you know, obviously better than others, but I'll be quite frank with you. I think that the whole roster of Street Fighter 6, even to this day, is all pretty viable. Like you can play any character in that game and I'd be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Like they're pretty good. As long as you're a good fighter, you'll probably win with that character. There are Zangief's, Dossim's, Manon that are in tournaments that are winning local cups and everything. So I'm just saying the OJP, Ken, and whoever is like top tier, I think the whole roster is very viable. Mortal Kombat 1 on the other hand did not launch with crossplay, character specific rank, lobbies, anything like that. It had a cool story mode, invasions, which at first was pretty cool but then got pretty lackluster really fast and especially at launch it had a very obvious meta. Characters like Raiden, Baraka, John Melina, these characters that just dominated online that why would you play anybody else when clearly these are the best characters? They've gotten a little better now, but it's not great. You take into consideration, you know, what they bring to the table with like features and then of course balances. Because of course the balance of a game can impact how much you enjoy it. Like at first when Mortal Kombat 1 launched when everyone was just playing Baraka, Johnny, Raiden online, it got quite frustrating really fast. Whereas when I play Street Fighter 6, I don't know who I'm gonna run into. It's gonna be a cam a Ken, a JP, DJ, Manon, Lily. I don't know who it's gonna be. So again, I love Mortal Kombat with a passion. It is the main game on my channel. You can see this, but I do recognize that Street Fighter 6 is the better fighting game at this point in time. I'm not saying forever. I'm, cause let's be honest here. There's 
so much time ed moon has confirmed they're going to support mortal kombat 1 for years to come so who knows where both these games are going to be at in a year two years give it six months i might take this video back and say mortal kombat 1 is now the better fighting game but when it comes to the 2023 awards for best fighting game of the year i think me and a lot of the fighting game community kind of agree that street fighter 6 deserved it. ignore all the price gouging for their skins and cosmetics and whatever as a fighting game objectively it's really good they brought in different controls to bring in new players like modern controls they experimented and brought out a new mechanic the drive gauge which brings a lot to the table like drive parry drive impact drive rush and i think mortal kombat 1 is doing a good job at that as well they're bringing the cameo system which i do enjoy personally i think it needs a couple tweaks to really balance itself out but i think it's a great concept this whole conversation kind of just stems from you know the idea and just the topic of you know mortal kombat a, the probably one of the largest fighting game names in the world when it comes to the game awards and there's a category for best fighting game. Mortal Kombat usually is gonna sweep the floor. And then when you introduce Street Fighter, it's oh, okay, they're both top contenders, but you know, most of the time you might be thinking Mortal Kombat 1's gonna take it. And this year they did not. Those are my reasons why I believe Street Fighter 6 won game of the year. I think it's very well deserved. I love Mortal Kombat and I cannot wait to see what it brings in the future of its game. But I'm also pumped for Street Fighter and see what they bring as well. Though this video is me talking about my thoughts, I really do want to hear from you guys what do you think of this whole thing what do, what do you think of mortal kombat 1 not winning fighting game of the year for 2023 and street fighter 6 walking in and just taking it again well deserved but what are your thoughts on it do you agree with that decision do you disagree what do you think mortal kombat 1 needs to change what do you think street fighter 6 needs to change let me know all your thoughts down below because this is a really cool conversation and again if you enjoy fighting game content i have new videos at least twice a week and i stream at least twice a week if you want more content like this make sure to subscribe here Turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, take it one step at a time.